we make lists, you know, of songs that we like um, or songs that we write or whatever it is. And then we, uh, you know, we play for each other and then, you know. And it's not always unanimous, which is kind of interesting, too. If like three of us like one and one doesn't, we, we kind of do a little bit of campaigning, you know, <laughs> we'll play it. No, listen to it this way. This is how I hear it. So, you know, we all have a fair shot at, at, at every song that we bring in. So, yeah, equal and it's a, it, We're a democracy. And the way it works is that, um, you know, it, it, you know if, there's, if it's uh, two and two, then we have to negotiate, you know. If it's three and one, then that has a, a much greater. If it's you know, if all four obviously agree, you know, and then if no, there's a spreadsheet involved. <laughs> Let's there just is. say that <laughs> charts and graphs. <laughs> yeah. That's right, and it's actually pretty amazing how almost every project there will be that that song that you were the lone. Ranger that didn't like it, and then it becomes like your favorite song on the album. Almost invariably, you kind of, oh wow, I didn't like this at first, or for whatever reason I wasn't hearing the vision of it. And then when it gets to completion, it's like, how was I voting against the song? This is amazing. Well, that's so, the trust. Yeah. That's why four people, I mean, that's happened to me a couple of times. I won't name which song. Oh, please do. <laughs> no. Please do. No, 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 no. And I thought, ooh, I don't know. And it was, you know, they're all great. You know, everything we choose. And we end up loving them because we perform them. And it's, yeah. yeah. Uh, it started out, actually, because we performed with them, with uh, the VDR uh, Funk House Orchestra. And um, we got along so well. We, we enjoyed that so much that the conversation started to go, well, maybe we should do something together. Why don't we do a project together? And that was kind of the beginning of that. And then we just kept the conversation going and then, uh, yeah, and put the pieces together to, uh, to make this collaboration. Um, so it, it was it, wonderful and really challenging to do this through a pandemic. Because, uh, I mean, normally, you know, we would go over there and we would kind of do everything together, but we couldn't do that, you know. So um, our rhythm section that's uh, led by our musical director, Jeroen Gershavsky, uh did the uh, rhythm tracks in New York. And then that was sent to Germany well, first were the arrangements, all, all the orchestras. We picked uh, whoever we want. Well, you see, I'm going down a rabbit hole <laughs> because first of all, there is picking the songs, right? And then, uh, and then finding arrangers that we, we like, that we want for a particular song. And when that's all done, then it's recorded and then it was sent to, uh, to Germany. And then we got those tracks and then we went into the studio and did our vocals. So, uh, but we're very, very excited about the collaboration. They're a wonderful orchestra, really, you know, magnificent musicians, right? Well, we all had certain favorites, but I think we decided to choose songs that we could hear, wow, how would this be with strings and a symphony, <coughs> excuse me, a symphony orchestra. So we picked songs, obviously, from our existing repertoire. We went pretty far back on some of the choices, and then some recent songs. Uh, we all had input and ideas of what to bring in, but I think to sweeten these beautiful songs we chose with these incredible orchestrations was a thrill. So a little bit old, a little bit new, and uh, so people will know, I think, all the songs because two on it from our latest CD. Some are, some are more reimagined than others. Mm, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. And there's a little bit of vocalese that we're very excited about. An incredible arrangement by Alan of um, The Man I Love, um, with Cheryl singing the clarinet lead. And then we have something from the Brazil album, and there's stuff from our third album, Pastiche. Uh, so, you know, it, it's really all over the place, which is what we like. Yeah.
We never we performed, have never it. performed it. We definitely haven't. We've never performed it. We've never performed it. So the story is, um, and I'll give you the this, this skinny story, um, it's based on Artie Shaw's version of The Man I Love. And I wrote lyrics to his solo and to all the background, so to all the, what the orchestra played. And um, we, and, and that's what it is. It's, it's, it's that orchestration. It's, it's and that. it's Roy Eldridge's The Trumpet yeah. solo, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That you sing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and yeah, Cheryl does Artie Shaw. And yeah, and it's, uh, it's just something that we had started to do, but then it got on the shelf. And so for this project, we said, well, why don't we do this? Why don't we, you know, why don't we do this tune? So that, that's where it's from. Well, I think we're all, we've all been inspired by the Beach Boys. I know I have. Um, and this song in particular is my, uh, that's my go-to song. That's, I think there's, it's so magical. And I think Paul McCartney said it was the best pop song he's ever heard that was it's his favorite swap so i want whatever paul says <laughs> <laughs> i think the connection between us and the beach boys really yeah. is the beach boys were very influenced by the four freshmen right by that beautiful four-part harmony um f that the four freshmen did and you know of course obviously we were also inf influenced by not only the four freshmen but with the high lows and the merry max and the modern airs and you know all kinds of uh, high lows and all different kinds of groups, but there's obviously a harmony connection, I think, between the mm -hmm. two groups. Mm -hmm. He's brilliant, obviously. He's a genius, and it's a thrill to sing this song with this orchestration. It just gives me goosebumps, so I'm real proud of that for us. <laughs> All right, well, uh, While you're ahead. thinking of them, I Go haven't ahead. been a Go part ahead. of many of them, but I get to interview them as well. Um, can somebody tell me about Stevie Wonder playing harmonica solo on <gasps> a tune enough. for you? Like, how did that come about? An anecdote that you might have? I know this is unprompted, but I'd love to know about that. Well, that was uh, Spice of Life. Yeah. And that was from Bodies and Souls. Our producer was Dick Rudolph, um, who was... Uh, was pals with Stevie Wonder. He was married to Minnie Ripperton, uh, Dick Rudolph. Um, and his daughter is Maya. Uh, yeah, the, and my six-year-old Maya, uh, we used to hang around the studio and run around, and you know, so we remember her. But I think it was, Dick, it was Dick's call to bring Stevie into the studio. The, what a oh. thrill that was, I'll tell you. And Rod Temperton wrote the tune for us, Spice of Life. I remember when he was in the booth, Stevie Wonder, I can't call him just Stevie, and he's doing a solo, and it was just magnificent. And then, backed up the track, and he did it an octave up. The yeah. exact, remember that? Oh, oh right. my God. <laughs> just like this, just off the top of his head. And between takes, you'd hear this voice humming, and we're going, that's Stevie Wonder's voice. <laughs> oh, it was, it was very it was a thrill. thrilling. It was oh, great. my God.